In this lesson, you are going to learn about a structure of an animal cell as seen with an electron microscope. This is an animal cell structure as seen with an electron microscope. In this lesson, we are going to see the function of each part of an animal cell. Let us start with the first part. This is microvirus. The proform of microvirus is microvir. What a microvir? We say that microvir are the microscopic membrane protrusions with increased surface area for secretion or absorption of materials. Another part is this one. These are endoplasmic reticulum. Their role is the transportation of lipid and steroids. Another part is this one. This is a pinocytotic vesicle. Pinocytotic vesicle is formed here by pinocytotic vesicle forming. Now, what is pinocytosis? Pinocytosis is simply known as cell drinking. Either way, cells take any materials which are in liquid form. Another part is this one. These are microtubules. What is the role of microtubules? They have a number of roles. The first role is cell transport. Microtubules give rise to some locomotive structures like cilia and fragile. So, in ciliated and fragilated organisms, they aid in movement. The second role of microtubules is that they are involved in cell division. How? They are involved in cell division because they form spindles around which the chromosomes are aligned. A third role of microtubules is that they are involved in cell transport. How? The microtubules aid the cell organelles to move from one point of the cell to another within a cytoplasm. So they help various parts of the cell to communicate. Now let us see another part. Another part is this one. These are lysosomes. What is the role of lysosome? Various macromolecules which are not needed within the cell, for example, various foreign materials like bacteria, are broken down and are expelled out through exocytosis. Another part is this. These are the free ribosomes. Free ribosomes are the ribosomes which are free moving within a cytoplasm of a cell, meaning that they are not bound on a membrane. There's the ribosomes which are found on the left endoplasmic reticulum layer. So the major role of free ribosomes is to synthesize protein which is used within a cytoplasm of a cell. The next part is nucleus, this one. Nucleus has these parts. It has nuclear pore, nuclear envelope, nucleolus, heterochromatin, and euchromatin. Let us see the role of each part of the nucleus. By starting with nuclear envelope, a nucleus is double membraned. It means that it has two membranes. What is the role of those membranes? It is to separate the content of the nucleus from the content of the cytoplasm of the cell. Also, another part of the nucleus is nuclear pore. What is a nuclear pore? A nuclear pore allows some materials to pass in or outside of the nucleus. And examples of these materials are like RNA and the proteins. Also, we have nucleolus. A nucleolus, we say that, is the brain of a nucleus. What is the role of a nucleolus? Nucleolus is the site in which the ribosomal RNA is transcribed. Another part of a nucleus is euchromatin. What is the role of euchromatin? Euchromatin is the region of a chromosome which is right that is actively involved in the transcription process. Another part of a nucleus is heterochromatin. What is the role of heterochromatin? Heterochromatin is the region of a chromosome which is darker dense that is less involved in the transcription process or sometimes it is not involved in transcription process. Also, in the part of a nucleus, you have to know that it is a nucleus which controls all activities within a cell. 
After that, let us see another part. Another part is this one. This region is cytoplasm. Simply we say that cytoplasm is the site for metabolic reactions. Another part is this one. This, this is a cell surface membrane. Cell surface membrane. This is the boundary of the cell. This one. What is the role of a cell surface membrane? The major role of a cell surface membrane is to allow selectively permeability to various materials in and out of the cell. Another part is this one. This is a rough endoplasmic reticulum. The role of rough endoplasmic reticulum is for protein synthesis and they are folding into quaternary structures. We say that rough endoplasmic reticulum is involved in protein synthesis because it carries the ribosomes, making it to be known as rough, as opposed to the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which do not have the ribosomes. So it is rough because it carries ribosomes. Also, we have these. These are endoplasmic reticulum bound ribosomes. The lot of endoplasmic reticulum bound ribosomes is protein synthesis. They mostly synthesize the protein which is used outside the cell, meaning that the protein for secretion. Another part is this one. This is a mitochondrion. What is the role of mitochondrion? Simply, this is a site for respiration. The next part is this. These are the centrals. What is the role of centrals? The major role of centrals, one, is to organize the microtubules to form the spindle fibers. It is around these spindle fibers on which the chromosomes are aligned during the cell division. The second role of centrals is that they are modified to form basal bodies of cilia and fragile. These basal bodies secure cilia and fragile to aid in locomotion. Another part is this one. These are the Golgi apparatus. What is the role of Golgi apparatus? The major role of Golgi apparatus is internal processing and the transport system. Now, how this is achieved by Golgi apparatus? The Golgi apparatus is involved in modifying, sorting, and the packaging of the proteins which is produced by the ribosomes which are found here in rough endoplasmic reticulum. Another part is this one. This is a gold vesicle. What is a gold vesicle? This is a vesicle which is formed after a section of a gold apparatus to be pinched out from it. And its major function is to transport materials, especially secretory materials, to other parts of the cell for exocytosis. As you see here, we see the next part shows the secretor vesicle. A secretor vesicle is the gorge vesicle which is contained with a secretory product. And these secretory products are taken out of the cell through exocytosis. As you see here, this is exocytosis, meaning that the materials are taken out of the cell. The last part, this one, shows the secretion or absorption at the base of microvilli. As we've said that, microvilli are the microscopic membrane protrusions which are involved for absorption or secretion role. Now, here, this is the way the materials are absorbed or secreted by these microvilli. So, this is the end of my today's presentation. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. I take this chance to welcome you in the next sessions. Have a nice moment.